First thing I want you to do is stand up and take that uniform shirt off. You don't deserve to wear it. Isn't it delightful when corrupt cops get completely shut down by good cops? In this video, we bring you the top cases where good cops humiliate bad cops. Starting with the first one where a jailer tried to sneak in a phone for an inmate but got caught and humiliated by the sheriff. Jailers have the simple responsibility of ensuring that the inmates serve their sentences and do not cause harm. Sounds simple, right? But some jailers can't even do this. For instance, Collin County Detention Officer Tyler Moody was verbally beaten by the sheriff after he tried to sneak in a phone for an inmate. Moody, I understand that you've offered your resignation. Is that correct? Uh, I get fired. Have you offered your resignation or not? If I can keep my job, then no. Well, you can't keep your job, okay? Tyler really thought he was going to keep his job, but the sheriff cured him of that misunderstanding in legendary style. So let me just make it easy. You're fired. You're no longer an employee here. You understand? Yes, sir. You've betrayed the trust of every citizen that we have the privilege to serve. And you've betrayed the trust of the brave and selfless men and women that you've worked alongside for nearly three years. That's not all, because the sheriff really wanted to teach him a lesson. Watch what he did next. So as of this moment, you're under arrest for bringing a prohibited item, a cell phone, into a correction facility. That's a third degree felony. Do you have any questions about that? Well, you're going to be cuffed. First thing I want you to do is stand up and take that uniform shirt off. You don't deserve to wear it. Not just fired, but actually charged with a felony and arrested. We need more of this. Hats off to the sheriff for keeping his office and his department accountable. Watching a sheriff emotionally destroy a corrupt officer is insane. But what's more insane is this next case where a civilian was pulled over for doing nothing and then got owned by a state trooper. Your police officer. Will you answer my question? I've, I've answered yours. Now, let me ask you a question. In the state of Alabama, what are your probation officers considered to be? On August 4th, 2021, probation officer Harold Mashburn pulled over a man he thought was speeding. But when he stopped him, it turned out that he was not speeding at all. Things soon escalated when Harold started abusing his authority. So I'm on the side of the highway about 300 yards from uh, Georgia. A guy, this guy right here was in the left lane going about 40 miles an hour and I'm trying to go around him. He pulls his badge out, it's poked points me to get over in this lane he's been five miles in the right in the left lane and will not get over and he jumps out says i'm a police officer give me your license he shows me a badge that says he's a probation officer and i called 911 and now they're sending a uh, north carolina state trooper out to the scene so he's, so he's gonna start filming mm -hmm. us now because he's got all hurt <laughs> sir I don't, you can film me all day long if you're a police officer you should have a body camera because you're not a police officer. It says right there, you're a probation officer. I'm not on probation. I've never been in trouble for anything. In, in Alabama, tell, tell my camera again how you're a police officer. Will you answer my question? I've, I've answered yours. Now, let me ask you a question. In the state of Alabama, what are your probation officers considered to be? I have no idea. We're not in Alabama. You live in Alabama because your tag says you're in I, I guess when a police officer gets here, we'll determine a whole are bunch you, of stuff. Are you? Well, the probation officer thought the driver was going to quit and succumb to his delusional authority, but the driver was no stupid man. He brought hell on the officer for doing him wrong. Okay. How often do you pull someone over? How often? How, I pull people over how often do you drive in the left lane for five miles going 48 miles an hour? I wasn't doing 48 miles an hour, sir. Uh, so, how fast were you going? I was doing 55. And what happened? You come. Up no, I, when I passed you, I was going and 48 then, miles an hour. But if your car point. here, that's not a police car, had the radar in it, you would know how fast I was going. Yes, sir. And I'm able to do speed estimations. I'm sure you will be. I guess um, when your uh, real police officer gets here, I'm sure I'm going to get some tickets. All right. Well, you just hang tight. Just hang tight, okay? What's your name? Would you like to identify you know, yourself? Right? What, have you going to give me your driver's license? Uh, you're not a police officer. Okay, then you just said. So you're refusing to identify. You're refusing to identify yourself. Just sit tight, 
You're refusing to identify yourself even though you pulled me over. Am I being detained? Am I being detained, sir? Because I've got to go home. Am I, are you detaining me? Are you detaining me? Am I being detained? Hey, I'm going to step out. Because you're... Am I being detained because I need to be on my way? Is, it, or is this a lawful stop? Am I being detained? Are you detaining me? Are you detaining me? Is that hard to understand? Because you know this is not legal. That's fine. You're disinterested. Why can't you answer my... You know you're in the wrong. You know you're in the wrong. That's why you're sitting there with that fake smirk. Just sit tight. I, I, I want to go home. How long is a Terry stop last? Am I free to go? Am I being detained? Those are yes or no questions. For how long? I'm go I'm gonna go home now. I'm going home now. Am I free to go? Am I being detained? So now he's gonna get my tag. How long does a Terry stop last, sir? What, so, so what am I being detained for? This is what pure corruption looks like. When you give a man-child even a bit of power, this is how they abuse it. He knew that he was in the wrong, which is why he refused to answer the driver's repeated questions. He wanted to avoid that reality, but his illusions were soon going to be shattered. Sir, I might leave here with a couple of tickets, but you're going to leave with a bunch. Hey, you see that? If you're out here patrolling the highways, How fast was that car? You're an expert on speed. How fast was that car going? I don't have radar. I can't, I can't judge speed. Sir, I'm asking you again. Will you call your supervisor? That's, that's not the way the law reads and you know how a Terry stop is. A Terry stop is 15 minutes or less. Yes. So am I free to go? Am I free to go? I don't have to go to college to get a law degree to know the law. 15 minutes, Supreme Court ruling, Kerry versus the state of Ohio. After making the driver suffer for a while, the officer realizes how absurd he was being, so he tried to talk things through with him, only to make the situation worse. We'd probably be both going about our ways to doing our jobs. You going home and me going to do my job. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? I understand what you're trying to say. The only thing I was doing was stopping you, getting you pulled over, so one, you calm down and quit endangering other people's lives. I wasn't endangering nobody's yes, lives. Yes, sir. We're in more danger when you got me pulled over right here than we were out here going up and down this highway. Possibility of truth. So I'll tell you what look I'll do. Look, no, Since we're no, talking no. and being calm, will you answer one question for me? And I won't no, say another no, word to the state trooper. Am I being detained? You have been stopped until I can get a trooper here to talk, to have a talk with you because you cannot talk to me. Why is that not a yes or no question? Well, because I've done answered that question. You asked me, are you being detained? I've said, you have been stopped. But you won't say, and, am I free to leave then? Since I've, you won't answer I've that already one. answered that question. Too agitated. Too oh, I am agitated because a, 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 a probation officer pulled me over for going 48 miles an hour because he was in the left lane for the last five miles and wouldn't get over. Here he is, good. Look at that. Instead of admitting his mistake, he started gaslighting the driver. I mean, how evil can a person be? After a short wait, the trooper showed up and handled the situation like it should have been in the first place. Just watch the difference in the way he deals with the driver. Yes, sir. How are you? I'm good. Good, good. Now you look, I don't really, fully understand what what we're me either what we're doing right here okay so uh he just felt like you were aggressively coming up on him he's a probation officer okay um so i'm not gonna write you for anything i'm not doing anything like that okay you like you got your insurance here. i'm, I'm sure wound you're up and I'm, good you're answer. unwinding me i appreciate it okay so where are you headed to you headed I'm, back home home to alabama okay all right so look one of those things okay he, you may come up on him a little quick. He may have, you know, it's one of them things, okay? So, as long as 
I mean, like I said, I, I'm I, good. I'm I don't good have now. anything. I'm to down. I don't have anything to ride for. I don't have anything like that. Um, I'm not going to do anything. I, even if I don't, I'm not going to do anything. It's not my stop. He just feel, you know, he okay. just felt like you come up on him a little hard. Um, you might have been a little aggressive. So if if that is the case, let's just back it down a little bit. You're nearly right. to Georgia anyway. So, That's why I say I can I appreciate it. So, all right, sir. Well, I'm going to. Carry on the way, okay? All right, well, I appreciate it. All right, sir. Thank you. All right. I apologize yes, to him, people, walk up here. Oh, well. No, I'm sorry you had to come out here and deal with this stupidity. I, I mean, he's wound up. I was wound up. Yeah. When he pulled up, he got up in my thing, and I'm like, I don't know if this guy's a police officer. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Understandable. All right. Thank you. Be careful, The probation officer should be arrested, not just fired. This was an abuse of power and authority for the sake of feeding his ego. Shameful and disgusting. As shocking as that incident was, it is nothing compared to what happened next. I'm not turning my camera off. Okay. Go ahead and step out of the vehicle. On March 12, 2024, Oklahoma City Police Captain James Matt French was stopped by an officer whom French tried to manipulate using his authority. But what the officer did next will leave you awestruck. Stay in your vehicle. Back in your car. I'm drunk? No, I'm the captain. Huh? I'm the captain. A what? The captain. A what? The big don't reach in your pocket. Get back in your car. You been drinking tonight? I just got a ride. You been drinking tonight, sir? I'm a captain on the police department. What police department? Oklahoma City. What division? Investigations. What are you doing pulling in here? My mom and I stay here. You been drinking? How much we had to drink tonight, sir? Astonishingly and courageously, the brave officer rejected the captain's illegal request like it was nothing. But this doesn't stop the hammered captain from trying to manipulate the officer, who then shuts him down again. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, we're not gonna get a return on it. How much we drink tonight, sir? I was at a poker game. Uh-huh. Because you were swerving all over me when you turn off the you didn't use your signal. I'm sorry. How much did you drink at your poker game? Not much. Not much? Mm -hmm. How much is not much? I don't know. Beer? Liquor? Yeah. How Beer. many beers? Three or four. Three or four? How long ago was that? It's been going on a while. How long ago did you drink your last beer, sir? It's 0140. Midnight. You think you should drive it? No, but I came from four blocks. Your mom, your mom lives here. I live here. You live here? Yes. Come over to the rear of your vehicle. Okay. You got any weapons or anything on you? I do not, sir. Just turn around, I'm going to pat you down. Go ahead. Do what you need to do. I promise you I'm not a problem. Okay. Can I shut my door? I'll shut it for you. Just hang out there at the rear of your Chevy. What investigations are you with? Homicide and assault. Yeah, we're You know Lieutenant Britton? Then there shouldn't be any discussion as yeah. to whether it should be available to... He's a good man. I like him. He is. He works for Jermaine. Jermaine Johnson? Yes. Jermaine's a good man, too. He is. Hang out right there, sir. Got you, brother. Just stand with your feet together, hands down by your side for me. Hands, hands down by your side, please. Look straight ahead. You see the tip of my pen, sir? I do. I want you to follow the tip of mm -hmm. my pen without moving your head, okay? Don't move your head, sir. The officer proceeded to put the captain through a series of sobriety tests, all of which he failed spectacularly. What happened next made the officer so uneasy that he had to intervene and stop him once again. 
come over here where it's a little bit more level. You have in those shoes and need cause you from keeping your balance or anything? I don't think so. You don't think so? Okay. I'm going to demonstrate for you first. While I'm demonstrating, I want you to stand with your feet together, hands down by your side just like this. All right, sir. What's your name? Matt French. Matt French. Mr. French, stand just like that for me. Okay. When I tell you to begin, when I tell you to begin, okay, I'm just going to demonstrate for you first. Right. I want you to pick a foot of your choosing. It doesn't matter if it's your left or your right foot. I'm from here. And I want you to lift it approximately six inches off the ground. You may begin. Sir, can, can you turn off? I cannot, sir. Please. I know you're aware of our body cam policy. You know I cannot turn I, off this body cam. I do, but I'd like to talk to you. I can't mm -hmm. do that, sir. Please. Please. I'd like to talk to you. Well, are you going to do the test or not? Will you please talk to me? I'll talk you, to you once we're you done. You can turn it off. You can turn it on. I can turn it off once I'm done with my investigation, sir. Okay. I'm a captain on this police. I understand that, sir. I get And that. I am a sergeant on this police officer, and I I've taken an oath to uphold the law. I, I don't not. show favoritism to anyone, regardless. I don't I, care if you're a gangbanger or the president of the United States. Sir, I'm not asking you for that. If I was to treat you differently than I was to treat, like, some south side loco or some pedo, how's that look on me? Okay. I'm not asking you for that. Because I wouldn't do that for any of them. Sergeant Skinner, please. Are you going to do the test or not, sir? I will. I will do whatever you ask. Okay, once we complete the test, I'll turn off my body cam once I'm done with my investigation. Okay. You want to, you want to try that again? I will. You may begin. One. Can you believe the nerve of that captain? Acting all high and mighty, practically begging the officer for special treatment. These corrupt officers just make life harder for our honorable men and women in uniform. It's downright infuriating. Three. Four. So please. Please. I'm asking you. I can't do that. Okay. So we're not going to do the test? We will. Okay, because you keep stopping. Wait, let's try another test. Then. Who is this? One of my partners. Who is it? Not sure. Can't tell with the lights on. No, it's, it's Officer Kitch. Mm -hmm. You're familiar with the walk and turn? I am. Well, I demonstrate the walk and turn for you. I want you to stand with your left foot in front of your right foot, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Go ahead and turn around for me. Put your hands behind your back. Are you going to rest here, sir? Yes, I am. Can I talk to you? Go ahead and put your hands behind your back, sir. Can we turn the camera off now? Yeah, we'll turn the camera off now. Thank you. Kudos to the officer for standing up for what's right. French was taken to a local detention center but was later released on bond. He has been placed on administrative leave during this investigation. If you think this was intense, then wait until you see this next case where a judge passionately punished a sheriff for his corrupt actions. Today is that day. Clark County's ex-sheriff, Jamie Knoll, made headlines when he was held in contempt of court for breaching his bond conditions by keeping multiple fires in his home. The controversial figure, known for his appearance on the A&E show, 60 Days In, was also facing allegations of embezzling millions in local funds for personal gain. The way the judge delivered justice to Noah will leave you stunned. I told Mr. Noel, don't do anything stupid. Do not try to deceive me, defy me, 
you will not, not like the consequences. Today is that day. You are not the law. You don't interpret the law. You don't enforce the law. You're not above the law. I find that you have, that you are in contempt of this court. Take him into custody. This is a real judge who has the public good in mind. We desperately need more judges like him who fight for justice and teach corrupt cops a lesson that they'll never forget. No, 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 no. that's enough. I'll find you guys in contempt for disrupting the proceedings and you'll be there right there with me. Now, what is an appropriate sanction? The question is, I can sentence him up to 180 days without a trial. Or I can sentence him to a day. Or I can release him. You know what I think the answer is? 60 days in. That's what I think it is, the answer is today. Each judge's order must be followed. They are not messing around. And don't forget, his 60 days in jail are just the beginning. His criminal trial hasn't even started yet. Before he is released, I, I'll take your suggestion. I want an independent individual to scour that household to determine that there's no further weapons. I find that Mr. Erdl's original argument that he's trying to make that I sustain, an officer, an officer of the law, yeah, every time I go into court, I hear, I didn't know it was there, I didn't know it was there, it really didn't. You've heard that a million times. You've heard it a million times, and yet you still take him into custody, would be my guess. Every officer in the world has heard, I didn't know it was there, it's my friends. I'm not buying it. It's your burden, it's your responsibility, and today the court will enforce that. Thank you, Lord. What an outstanding person. This is the fate that these corrupt officers deserve. By holding them responsible for their corruption, the country can heal once again. Do you think the judge made a fair decision? Let us know in the comments below. And if you liked the video, subscribe so you don't miss out on the next one we have in store for you. Thanks for watching. This is Detective Mystery, signing off.